Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where we're about to check out the coolest car that you are going to see today. I promise. This is passion to the core. This is the one of one Rentec S76R. Now we're here in Florida visiting Rentec's HQ, the workshop and offices behind. I've been out here once before and in fact at home I have a Rentec R1 package on my SLS AMG Black Series. But this is something different. This is so infinitely cool. Take a 1980s 600 SEL, bore and stroke the engine from 6 litres to 7.6 litres of naturally aspirated V12. It makes over 600 horsepower, but that's not all. We've got new wheels hiding carbon ceramic brakes. This must be the only 600 SEL in the world with carbon ceramics. We've got new 3D printed parts, an aero kit, if you will, on the outside. We've got a completely retrimmed and refit interior. This is Rentex Resto Mod, if you will, of this particular car. And my goodness, this is epic. And today, not only are we going to take a full look around, open up the bonnet, the hood, and have a look at the engine and the modifications, but they've kindly let me take the keys to go and take it for a first drive to see what it's about. So let's do this. The Rentec S76R. We have got a lot to go through. We'll get this opened up in just a moment, but before we do, a very quick background on Rentec, which was started by Hartmut Fail, who had previously worked at AMG from engine builder all the way through to technical director when he left in the late 1980s around the time of cars like this. The W140s, pretty much built with no expense spared. Absolutely solid in their construction, the materials, the luxury and everything about it. Of course, with offerings from AMG. And in fact, after starting Rentec, he made various different 7.4 litre conversions and actually one 7.6. But this, this is something quite unique. Rentec classics, if you will, entering the world of resto mods, creating a car with so much going on, but I want to get it opened up so that we can talk about the engine. 7.6 litres of NAV12. Get your head around that for a moment and what this is all about. The original 600 SEC with the 6 litre engine as it came from AMG and a full to back was already pretty impressive. This is completely taking things up to another stratosphere and have a look at this. Look at this engine bed. It almost looks like it's straight out of the factory exactly like this. The engine itself has been positioned slightly lower. It's been moved down for the center of gravity. There are significantly larger air boxes on either side. In fact, almost doubled in their width. The airflow coming through to this all through the front, every single bit of cooling, new radiators, new fans, because of course this needs quite a lot of cooling. And in fact, come and check out just here the little plaque that you have to present it as well. Rentec S76R 7.6 litre V12, bored and stroked up from six litres with the firing order, 615 horsepower, 703 pounds foot of torque. Big, big, big numbers. Now in around 87, there was the facelift of the 600 SEL. So the later cars had a slightly smaller ABS ECU, had other changes as well, and the five-speed gearbox as opposed to the four that had come before. But this is needed more than just what you think. To make the larger air boxes here has required what you have just inside here the suspension oil reservoir to be moved new pipe work new air conditioning pipe work as well managed around to all fit around the engine to enable this to make it all possible and of course the engine itself has had all sorts of different changes as well in terms of the new stainless steel exhaust system the everything just about everything let me close this though and go and show you inside before we get there, let me show you a few more of the changes outside. This is, of course, a resto mod, a restoration modified, an updated version of the original. But initially, you wouldn't probably realize there's anything different about this from the outside. Some small things here and there. For example, the new lower lip, the 3D printed lip that runs all the way around the front, integrated in, pretty discreet, but obviously a little bit more needed for the stability of the car, especially given the extra performance that it actually now offers. In terms of the wheels, tires, and brakes, and this is really cool. Completely new 19 inch wheels designed in the style, of course, of originals. The Rentec graphic in the center, Rentec classics, and actually shot as well in Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, a brand new tire for the car. But this is when you spot through here the familiar metallic bronze paint of the AMG carbon ceramics. Brakes that we know from the likes of my SLS Black Series, but tucked away on a 600 SEL. 
that's not so normal. Also, spot just here, another 3D printed part for additional cooling, obviously the airflow management being absolutely critical for something like this. Now, this car being a later model, a facelift model, you also have this chrome trim, for example, that runs around the outside, separating various of the panels slightly. The discrete V12 badging back there on the C-pillar, something that just tells you a little bit about what this is and then just like at the front we also have the 3d printed lip spoiler running across the boot lid back here and of course as well as that the various bits of badging the rentec logo and the s76 r badge over on this side that's not all though obviously we have the new exhaust system the stainless seal system that you have for this throughout with the tips sitting back there beneath the bumper it's subtle but i think that's what gives this all of that extra charm now i want to show you inside as well because the interior of this is really very nice have a look here at what we've got completely retrimmed using original mercedes leather we have the red piping and the stitching along with the diamond quilt on the seat inserts and even in places like on the armrest for example you can spot the carbon fiber inlays for the central console on the steering wheel there are so many things to this that have been completely redone i mean look at the door card for example again the state the same diamond quilted stitch the same carbon fiber inlays that's just the front have a look as well at the back of the car because it continues here also the new two seat configuration that they've included as opposed to the bench that you'd normally have at the back with all of the different storage cubbies with carbon finishing over the top of them as well everything that you would kind of want to see when you mix the original vehicle and you restore it but you update it and you bring it to the modern time as well plus even soft close on doors i'm always a big fan of soft close it just feels smart and wonderful anyway should we go and get this started and go take it out i think we should let's do this then and excited is just a little bit of an understatement right now because this is as i've said literally about passion this is about the passion for mercedes an iconic era that is only becoming more and more iconic right let me turn the key and start this very quickly <laughs> i don't know how much of that you can hear from in here this is gonna be good let's go now i'm not sure that i've ever driven a regular 600 sel but i know that this is going to be special this is a special 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 engine to begin with into drive and um ready to rock and roll so effectively this car has some elements of the pre-facelift from the 80s and some elements of the later car this is actually a 1992 as it happens 600 SEL so a fairly late car which belongs to the customer that has commissioned this project from Rentec which I think Hartmut and the team immediately might have ummed and ahed about a little bit but we're living in a very interesting time with resto mods in general of course so much nostalgia as cars these days are completely different to what they used to be you know those days of things built in the way that this is built with that engine grumbling in the background there aren't going to be many more 12 cylinder cars full stop and the iconic link that people have as i do as well to cars from our younger years that different period of motoring that different type of car i'm just going to take this really gently and easily because of course this is a fairly valuable machine as well it is a big proposition to do something like this to completely over overhaul a car from the ground up in the way that this is done i tell you what it feels so solid the quality the feel of everything, the sound, the way it floats and drives. It's hard to believe the, I guess, history and lineage really of the S-Class, of what this has come from, of what's what it's led to. You know, we have the new cars, the EQS, for example, in some ways has this as part of its history. It's hard to believe when you consider quite how different these are as cars. They barely take any of the same boxes as we just pull out and accelerate away effortless so much torque it just glides up the road pulls away like nothing just a gentle breeze and you have that delicacy to it that you do as well when you drive in a rolls-royce it just feels like you want to be 
smooth with the steering wheel, gentle inputs, and then you remember how much power it's got. You know, even to this day, the most of V12 producers from an OEM is the 812 Competizione with a little over 800 horsepower. This is only about 25% down on that, and it's a car that is from the early 90s. Like, think about this. This is really, really something, and I think that speaks a lot for what Rentec is as well, about the passion of these things. And I've said that quite a few times, I apologize for that, but I think it's really what it's all about. And as I just decelerate and you know, get ready to drop some gears, <laughs> I have been out in something similar. My friend Gordon Fsbox car. I mean that that thing just sounds simply ludicrous. But this feels so elegant and smart. And you're looking out at the three-pointed star out over the end of the bonnet. It's a little bit gangster in a way with this obviously all black look. But it's cool. It's infinitely cool, and that's what it's about. Obviously, very conscious that this is a big old beastie, but once you get out onto an open road, and of course we're in Florida, so every road is kind of like this, pretty straight and not a whole lot happening, but then put the foot down, drop the gears, it just pulls and pulls and pulls. It's only about 4,000 RPM, we can go to just over six. I mean, it's hard to appreciate this and the sound in the background. Let me just slow it down a bit and pop the window down for a second. <laughs> Obviously not the most aerodynamic, lots of wind noise going on. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. This is so, so fun. It's just you have to like these things, obviously, this very boxy design of this era of Mercedes-Benz. And we saw so many of these cars when I recently visited the Patina Collective, not too far from here, actually, uh, as it happens, coincidentally, went to their collection of 300 cars of this kind of era from companies, well, AMG, but also the likes of Rentec cars in their collection. And it's such a, a growing segment, you know, the Hammers, for example, there are cars that were one or two hundred thousand dollars a couple of years ago that are now seven or eight hundred thousand dollars. These collections that are really starting to appreciate this era of Mercedes, and Mercedes is such a strong brand. Mercedes-Benz, Mercedes-AMG, the Maybachs, all of the different cars throughout the years that they've created, and obviously their history with motorsport, with limited edition models, everything from Formula One to DTM to Formula E to you name it, just the entire range. And the new cars, I would say, aren't what the old cars were. You know, the C63S, that's a two litre turbo four cylinder, the EQEs and EQSs, which aren't aren't entirely my thing, I'm not gonna lie. But then you get into something like this and you just waft along and cruise along with it and life's good. Life is very good. And that's why the demand for resto mods is through the roof. That's why the demand for something like this is through the roof. And that's why Rentec have produced this car. That's why they've made this. And that's why I am sure there will be plenty more things down the line as well. Plenty more very, very cool projects. Even just talking with Hartmut before taking this car out, we've been discussing ideas for what they could perhaps do, what might be in the works, what ideas other customers have come up with, what they could even do perhaps furthering this, who knows, down the line as well. But every time coming to a stop is slightly frustrating because stops are, I don't get them sometimes when it's clear to go, but it does mean an opportunity to get back on the throttle and to take this in. Like I say, you're very conscious that it's a big old heavy thing. Zero to 60 miles an hour is four and a bit seconds. It's pretty fast, obviously not compared to a modern supercar or something, but pretty fast for something of this age in this era. It certainly is carrying its weight though, but that's not what it was built for. And what it does now is such a unique proposition that it, it kind of makes sense as I spot a few raindrops falling on the windscreen. Hopefully we're not gonna have too much of that before we get back to base. Yeah, what a thing, what a just like, cool thing that they've gone out and made. The weather in Florida is always completely all over the place as a sheriff comes towards us. I'm not doing anything wrong, I promise. <laughs> Just enjoying a car that, you know, nobody would really know what is, like I said. I mean, you throw it through a corner and obviously you feel that it's a bit wallowy, but that's not what today is really about. Today is more about this. And that's what's 
so cool. That rasp you get at the higher revs when you're under a little bit more load as we head back out to join the uh, interstate here. <laughs> I don't know, I think that's what it's about, right? It's about putting a smile on your face. And like I said, this is a segment of the market which has seen exponential growth of interest over the last two years, three years in particular. You know, it's a bit like JDM cars that flew up. Obviously, Ferraris and Porsches flew up years ago, a decade ago. JDM cars, five, six, seven years ago, R34 GTRs and that kind of thing. But as cars like a base five, 60, 600, whatever it might be, become more valuable. Obviously, it's more important to, or more people focus attention on the maintenance of them, on looking after them, on restoring them, on upgrading them, on creating projects like this. And that's why Rentec are really filling that spot out here with these cars, you know, doing this, offering that to their clients. And they've grown so many clients over the years with the works that they've done, even go back, obviously, to the original S74s and whatever it might be from that era. But obviously, as I know, with the AMG GTs, with the SLSs, with whatnot. And then you drive this, and I swear nobody would have a clue what this thing is. Nobody would look twice at this. Nobody would realize that this is a very, very, very valuable car. It would just kind of blend in. It would just seamlessly be part of the traffic out on the road. <laughs> yeah, here we are in a one of one. A one of one Rentec, a one of one project, as we are going to be using some of these carbon ceramic brakes. Which, to be fair, obviously at the speeds I'm driving, I haven't really had to use or appreciate, but certainly offer some confidence against the weight of the car and the power of the car. If you left the stock brakes on a car like this with the amount of power that this has, you would be causing yourself a lot of risky moments. That's for sure. Anyway, I think the weather has completely started to turn, so we should probably head back to Rentex base. One thing to point out, we do still have 90s wipers. No surprises there. And also, by the way, the fuel gauge, the needle was on around half a tank. I have driven a couple of miles and we're now halfway down towards a quarter of a tank. That has absolutely vanished. Um, I guess that's probably to be expected with a 7.6 litre V12, even if one is just taking it quite easily as we have been. It's also quite a, a large car. That's also not exactly a big surprise. And there are lots of cool cars here. An SLS, an AMG GT, kind of GTR Pro inspired, I would say. <laughs> Plenty more G-Wagons and a Landerlay. Very, very nice. Anyway, into reverse. No uh, reversing cameras here, but just that murmur of the 12 cylinders as we pop it back where we began earlier on. What a ride, what a cool thing. I mean, I've got a carbon top and bottom steering wheel here into park. Pop open the door just to take a listen for a moment. Oh. 2000 RPM. Very nice. <laughs> it's Florida after all, and the sunshine is now back out. Things drying up quickly from the rain we've just had, but I want to show you this because look around this car. S76R, one of one signature series, Rentec, this full carbon inlay, but still this mix of the new look with the contrast stitch and the carbon with the original controls and panels, and obviously everything fully refurbished or replaced to be in perfect shape, in perfect order. Then you have the seats, which are really, really nice. Obviously the original kind of seat, but with all of this piping and stitch work, the Rentec RT embroidery up on the headrest, the quilting even on the armrest of the car as well. Just everything about it is so classy. And mixing that traditional look with these modern touches. I mean, having a carbon fiber steering wheel, the carbon over the top and over the bottom of it against the originality, obviously, of the airbag in the center just gives you that completely different mix. We've also got the Rentec floor mats down here as well, the Mercedes-Benz kick plate on the sill. What a 
what a thing. I want to hop out for a second. There's so much more to this than we can possibly run through. I've been talking to more of the technicians and engineers and the team that have been behind this machine here at Rentec. And this is the thing with a Resta mod. It gives you the opportunity to do a car in a way that you couldn't necessarily have done at the time and create something unique, a one of one, quite literally in the case of the S76R and something that is about emotion and passion. And I've said that a lot, I know, but it's what we're all aspiring and looking for in the current world. So many new cars don't give you that spark, don't grab your heartstrings in the way that older stuff does. And especially if you can take something a little older and build it into something like this. Obviously to get that amount of power, to give it 50% more power has also meant titanium valves, titanium con rods, loads of upgrades as well using AMG parts to the 600 SEL and loads of things that Rentec actually produce right here with all of the machinery that they have inside. I've been taking a tour around, loads of equipment, to produce what they need to be able to 3D print parts, to be able to go through lots of different things, make it exactly how they want to make it. And that's what they've done with this, the ultimate example really of a resto mod, a restored and modified original car brought into something for the current era in a way that you couldn't necessarily do at the time. You couldn't do carbon ceramic brakes. I mean, behind these wheels are 402 mil discs, six pot calipers on this car. That is just something that, I mean, a normal person isn't going to look at it and spot this, but if you're into your cars, you'd see these and you'd be like, wait a second. And you'd come and look a little bit closer and you'd be like, hold up, those are AMG carbon ceramic calipers. And you'd have a look in, you'd be like, what? That's so cool. It's, it's something that, okay, of course it carries a price tag. And of course it's a big heavy barge in some ways. And let's not get around that because it's the truth at the end of the day but it's a passion project and that's something that Rentec do so much of and that's something that this car really embodies and that's why I've enjoyed driving this today so much. While perhaps this very boxy Mercedes era hasn't been my favorite of all time, I'm more about the, let's say, Italian exotics and that kind of stuff. I appreciate what this is all about and I've certainly been learning more about this era, particularly of Benz's and what the community is like around these. And this car, while it might not make sense, is just something out of this world that's so cool that they've done and has just been the awesome experience that I hope I've been able to portray with you today during this visit to Rentec. So what a serious amount of fun driving the S76R. A huge thanks to the owner for allowing me to come today to drive it and a huge thanks of course to the team at Rentec for arranging that and for producing it in the first place, for producing something like this. It makes no sense but it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. So thank you as always guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Your support is hugely appreciated, but that's it for this time. And I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.